having seen the Eagles with my own two eyes. You know, Corey Clement uh, is, a, is a nice player. Uh, we saw what he did in the Super Bowl last year, and Josh Adams, who I called Jamal, much to the delight of all my haters in Philadelphia <laughs> during the game on Sunday. Um, uh, Le'Veon Bell there, if this team w wants to compete, well, they have to compete with the Rams. I mean, that's the team to beat in that conference right now. They need to get more points on the board, and right now they're, they're, they're scoring a touchdown fewer points this year than they did last year. Le'Veon Bell would be a terrific ad. What do you think it would cost to get him today? I think a third-round pick at this point. That's you know, it? Get the comp pick now versus a year okay. from now when he leaves as a free agent. Originally, they were hoping for a two, but the market never really developed. San Francisco, who had some initial interest, fell by the wayside. You know, the Jets sniffed around, but that doesn't really make sense for them right now. You know, and Howie was the guy who called the most early on and asked the most questions, and then he kind of went off did his due diligence everywhere else. They played in London last week. He wasn't going to do anything then. And now they're waiting in that front office to see, does he call again? You know, knowing he's explored everything else and Le'Veon Bell for a three plus maybe a little something, something else, or maybe not even anything else, you know, does that wet his whistle? I mean, you can make the case. I mean, is it the chicken or the egg, though? Is it the offensive line at this point, you know what I mean, or the running back? I mean, I know they do like Smallwood and they do like, you know, Corey. Now, they're obviously not Le'Veon Bell, but – they don't have infinite cap space and infinite finances either. So, you know, if he can make one splash, does it make more sense for it to be, you know, a corner or hmm. a, a special running back or an offensive, you know, a top of best of breed offensive lineman? Uh, but I think he's doing something. I don't. I just don't see him sitting on his hands. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.